Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to be going over the Vox style. So, what makes the Vox style? Usually, you'll see a clean color palette and font, typically Times New Roman. Uh, you'll also see cutout images with an uh, outline or stroke. You'll see smooth and subtle animations. And you'll also see abstract shapes in the background. So, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make all of these and more using the power of DaVinci Resolve. So let's get into it. Okay guys, let's get into it. So you can see here I have the intro and we're just gonna go into this first clip here and I'm gonna show you guys how to make this uh, pretty easy title and it always looks good. I like using this, uh, this title anywhere I can just because it's pretty clean and smooth. So I have the node structure all laid out here and we're just gonna recreate it by uh, moving the media out and just building off that. So step number one is gonna be making a background. Uh, I chose a nice gray color. And then you're just gonna add some text to that. So whatever you want the top text to be, just type that out. In our case, it's DaVinci Pro. You can change the font to whatever. I find in Vox videos, they like to use the Times New Roman font with a bold italic on it. Now we're just gonna add another text node into here and create a merge node linking the two. Then you're gonna put whatever you want your bottom text to be. So in our case, it's Vox style. And we're just gonna pick Times New Roman and change it to bold italic. So now we have these two, but they're not animated or anything. So in order to do that, we're going to create a rectangle mask and add that to our bottom text, putting it just um, under the middle. And then we're gonna do the same for our top text, but the opposite, putting it up more and towards the top. And what this is gonna do is create a mask so that our text can pop up into the screen out of nowhere. So now we're gonna make the line that goes in the middle of these two text boxes. So I'm just gonna make a background, make it to whatever color I want our line to be. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a rectangle mask to that. And then just changing the width and the height to make a straight line. So now that we have everything set up and ready, we can go ahead and start animating it. So we want it to start um, with no line and then we're gonna move the text up and the top text down so they disappear behind the masks we created earlier. Now, if some of you might've noticed that I set the keyframe in the wrong spot, we're at the end of the clip here but it should be set at the beginning of the clip. I messed up on this part, but I'll fix it later. So pretty much what you wanna do is set keyframes so your text is underneath the masks you made and your background line is zero width. Then we're gonna go ahead and just set a keyframe at the start and then move to where we want our text to end up and set another keyframe and move the text. Do that for the top text and the bottom text and you should get something like this. Uh, right now I'm just changing all the keyframes because like I said earlier I messed up and put them all in the wrong spot. So don't be like me and make sure your keyframes are set in the right spot. So now you're just gonna do the same but in reverse at the end of the clip so you're gonna move your text up, set a keyframe, move your top text down, set a keyframe, and then for your line, you're just gonna change the width and set keyframes for that. So that's how you make this super simple and good looking text animation. Now let's learn about how to make the other things. So for this next scene, um, there is a couple different things and a couple different techniques I'm gonna show you guys. We're gonna go not as in-depth, but 
still show you guys everything. So for the background, I like using this paper uh, template super easy just set that down and use it as the base of your fusion composition so for this little paintbrush thing we have here it's super simple it's just a image of a paint stroke and a text merging into one node and then to animate it i just have a rectangle mask plugged into um the whole uh merge node and we're just going to animate that moving from the side of the screen. That's all you need to do. For this image cutout, also very simple. It's just a picture and a background going into a merge node. And then I made a polygon mask around the background, just tracing over the image. Now this only works with PNG images. So make sure you have a PNG image. And then I also like to add camera shake to just give it a very subtle movement. This is one of the biggest hacks in this video. Just slap a camera shake on there, turn down the motion scale and speed scale, and you'll see you just get a nice kind of floaty animation. Super simple. Um, and finally, we're gonna go over this text here so the text is also very simple I just have text going into a merge node with a background that is yellow and a rectangle mask around that I also lowered the opacity a little bit and just made sure that the text goes over the front and then you're just gonna keyframe it to where you want it to be throughout your video. Super simple. All of this is really easy. Even the shape like I have here in the background, all it is is a background with a circle or an ellipse mask around it. And I added this waviness effect and that just made it wave. I think I turned it a bit and you get this cool abstract shape in the background. So this is how you make my interpretation of Vox style stuff. I know there's a lot of different things too, like graphs and stuff I didn't go over. But if you guys like this video and want to see more Vox style stuff, I'll make another one. So thanks for watching and drop a like if you want to see another one.